John Maher, WABC News. It's 67 degrees and sunny in New York. This is the noon edition on WABC, New York's radio station, brought to you by Long Island Savings Bank. It's a fantastic day outside, and here with more on the weather is Rosa Kay. 67 degrees in New York City, John, with a mostly beautiful afternoon ahead of us. Most of the tri-state area is under steady sunshine, except for eastern Long Island. It's going to be several hours before the east end gets all sunny. Our high today is going to reach 73. Tonight, we continue clear and breezy with a low at 52. Tomorrow and Wednesday are a pair of lovely days. Sunshine straight through with a high again in the low 70s. Get out and enjoy it right now. Sunny, 68 degrees in Plainfield, 63 in Scarsdale, and in New York City, 67 degrees. I'm Ross McKay, WABC Radar Weather. I'm John Maher, WABC News. Now, stay tuned for the Art Athens program up next on Talk Radio 77. WABC Talk Radio 77. Speak out with Art Athens. From major issues affecting the tri-state area to local community problems affecting your neighborhood, speak out with Art Athens. To talk with Art from the 212 New York area, dial 877-WABC. From the 516 Long Island area, dial 437-WABC. In the 201 New Jersey area, dial 489-WABC. In the 914 Westchester area, your number is 667-WABC. And from the 203 Connecticut area, Dial 335-WABC. Now, speak out with Art Athens on WABC Talk Radio 77. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, New York, to Talk Radio 77, WABC. A whole new thing here, born. And I must point out before we go any further that while this program normally will be taking phone calls, we will not today because we have so much to tell you about. This is really the inaugural program for Talk Radio 77, and we have some fascinating people to speak with. First of all, the two guys who just did what is probably the most dynamite program I've heard on broadcasting ever, Dan Ingram and Ron Lundy. Well, it's funny because remember. we were winging it. I mean, <laughs> I don't remember much of it. No, I really it was, don't. It was, uh, it was almost all that little we did. Anything we did was uh, James Golden, who was, uh, as we said on the show, who was now your producer, as a matter of fact. Uh, put together uh, a whole bunch of music over the years, and we used that to kind of say bye-bye. And he did an, in that was an incredible production. It really was. It took them, I think we should say it took them all weekend. They were here till 6 o'clock this morning putting that together. Well, well I'll tell you, of their, uh, their work did not go in vain because I can just picture all the tape recorders that are running in not only New York and New Jersey and Connecticut and Pennsylvania and Delaware, but all over the area. So all that great work will not go wasted or unheralded because it'll be on thousands of tape recorders and incidentally our congratulations on your show well thank you Daniel. and i hope it's a big success and i know it will be i think it will because this is it talk radio it's it's an interesting change for wabc and and uh things do change uh, i i read the other day that lionel trains was no longer going to be in existence. No, I don't want to hear the next thing going to be telling me swim bicycles all of, around. All of those things, but... Well, Kodak has stopped making 16-millimeter movies. There you are, but yet... Or 8-millimeter, I guess. Yet, that is 
what 1980 has brought us, the 80s. Yeah. When you sat down behind these microphones, I'll ask you both this question. Uh, 20 years ago, 17 years ago, did you ever think that you would be sitting here like this today? No, I never thought I'd get this old. <laughs> <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, the first time I was on the air on WABC was uh, uh, Hal Neal had hired me, and uh, uh, Chuck Dunaway was out of town for a weekend, and he said, would you like to come in and just do a couple hours on the air? Mm -hmm. And I went on the air and said, this is the Chuck Dunaway show, and this is not Chuck Dunaway. Uh, didn't use my name because didn't want anybody to know I was going to be on. And I was scared to death. I mean, I really was. I could have had a connection or a cat or a canary or something like that. Uh, no, I didn't think it would last very long. As a matter of fact, at any given moment when someone asked me, well, how long do you think it's going to last? My standard answer was, well, maybe a couple more years. I'm surprised it's gone. That was 15 years ago. I'm sure you were saying that. Yeah. You were way off. Yeah, I was, thank God. What about you, Robert? I didn't think it would ever end. I, I never thought about it ending. That never entered my mind. I just, uh, oh, well, up to, you know, the past year, year or so, but uh, up to then, it never entered my mind that it would ever end. No. That, that's the hook. It hasn't really ended. It is changing here at WABC, yeah. and something new is born. But for the two of you, you're going on to... Super Radio. Super Radio. It's much bigger than anything we've ever done. Better, I don't know. I mean, because oh, it's been a good... Uh, this, it's been a good 17 years for me here, but uh, the enemy will be back with, uh, well, the man who hired me, Rick Sklar, and we'll all be back together again and coast to coast, rock and roll, or whatever you want to call it. Well, they got so many different names now, but it's like Billy Joel said, it's still rock and roll to me, so whatever you want to call it. That will be the uh, 4th of July weekend, which happens to be the uh, 21st anniversary of my continuous employment by the American Broadcasting <laughs> Company. <laughs> um, and it, a lot of people are confused with what Super Radio really is. It's a service of Radio Enterprises, which is a newly created <laughs> division of the American Broadcasting Company. It will not be carried on WABC, since WABC is a talk radio station as of this minute. Uh, but uh, with any luck, it will be carried in New York. We know there are a couple of stations that are being negotiated with right now. Uh, it'll be carried coast to coast. It'll be live. One of the interesting things is that uh, one of the projections is that the new uh, music service called Super Radio will be carried on a station in Guam, which will mean that if I'm on the air in New York from 4 to 8 p.m. in the afternoon, I'll be on the air at the same time in Guam from 3 to 7 p.m. the day before because of the international <laughs> dateline. Now, that's a little frightening. Well, it's the first time you think Radio, uh, as is talk radio, by the way, and we'll be explaining what the talk radio format is going to be here on WABC as, as we move along the program, is really made possible through some incredible technological advances. Uh, we've heard about them over the years, satellites. It's, yes. It's a whole new satellite yes. uh, system, and you know, uh, there are things that can be done now that were unheard of five years ago. Maybe you can explain a little bit about how that works. Well, we'll be in a studio at uh, 1700 Broadway, Randy Studio, which has all kinds of interesting devices, TV screens and whatever, uh, which will be broadcasting directly from there up and bounced off a satellite, coast to coast, live, 50,000 hertz, uh, clear stereo sound, uh, which will be picked up by uh, any affiliate, uh, either with their own downlink of dish, or by uh, some local service, which might be at and or something like that. And it'll be on the air live. Uh, it'll be the first music service that's ever been live, coast to coast, 24 hours a day, although I believe that uh, Super Radio is recommending the local stations carry their own morning show. Uh, the technological aspects of it are frightening, because eventually what they will have will be TV screens which will display digitally encoded records. And all you have to do is press a button, and somewhere a block away in a computer, the music will come out. Uh, no tape moving in there. Uh, I know. But they say records will be a thing of the past. Oh, That's sure. They already are. Yeah. 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 I haven't oh. seen a record in the studio in about 15 years. I haven't. Either. You may not see them in your home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the record industry is saying, no. <laughs> Listen, uh, I don't think we can ignore it. Uh, there have been... Uh, probably thousands of articles written. Uh, we haven't seen them all, but we know of a few that uh, the day the music stopped, uh, 
rock and roll dies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, is it negative? Do you feel this is negative? What's happened? Here? No, not at all. Not at all. No, not at all. The only difference is the uh, <laughs> what's a good nine dollar word? The transmogrification of Wait a minute. media. Let me write that <laughs> from a local <laughs> station to a local that thing down, eh? to a, a bunch of stations. We've come full circle in radio, all the way from the days when TV destroyed radio's networks to the fact that the uh, ABC has six very strong networks now and two more satellite networks, and people across the country are very interested in carrying something with perhaps a little larger focus and framework, and uh, the response from the stations that have been pitched to about whether they might be interested in carrying this has been so positive, it's been really exciting. Mm -hmm. And for WABC, of course, a whole new format, which uh, is bringing something to New York that has not uh, been in New York, but has been tremendously successful in Los Angeles, in San Francisco. Uh, obviously, there is uh, a great interest and a great demand for the kind of talk that we will be doing here on WABC yet for years to come. Sure. So 20 years from now, yeah. you can be back here and we'll all have an inaugural. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who knows? 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 Who But uh, it, it really has been a uh, uh, fabulous uh, morning here, an exciting morning, and I thought I detected a tear in your eye, Dan, there. Well, I imagine so. I'm uh, a person who uh, wears his heart on his sleeve, frankly, uh, at certain times in my life. And there's a certain element of nostalgia, but we all go through one period to another in our lives, and this is uh, what we're in the midst of is a gigantic segue from doing WABC to doing Super Radio, and I find it totally exciting, even though at the same moment, I must say, I, yeah, I'm a little emotional. And you run. Well, I just really want to wish WABC all the luck in the world with the new format. I just, uh, I just look and I think of all the resources that you guys have at your fingertips with ABC News and all the networks and everything, and I just think you're going to be hard to stop. I really do, and I just wish you all the luck in the world, and especially with your show. I just wish you just only the very best. And the same to you. You, you are one of the sweetest men, both of you. Great guys. And we will be seeing you up and down six hours. Oh, of course. You're not leaving town. Oh, no, I have my no. hot dog stand. <laughs> got to make a buck where you By can. the way, you know the mustard I got from you? It wasn't musty. <laughs> uh, thank you, gentlemen, both Ron Lundy thank and Thank you. Him. I must point out one more thing. It is not the end of music altogether on WAB. Now, Ross and Wilson. Ross and Wilson. Wilson music, sure. Every morning we'll be playing music from 6 to 10 a.m. And uh, then we will make the transition to some very interesting talk hosts, and we'll be talking about them when we come back. One thing that you could do is go to a record.